Felicity Huffman's real life just turned into a plot straight out of Desperate Housewives. The actress is one of dozens charged in a massive college admission scheme, according to court documents unsealed on Tuesday. Also charged in the 204-page complaint, Fuller House's Lori Laughlin and her designer husband, Massimo Giannulli. We're here today to announce charges in the largest college admissions scam ever prosecuted by the Department of Justice. We've charged 50 people nationwide with, with participating in a conspiracy that involved first, cheating on college entrance exams, meaning the SAT and the ACT, and second, securing admission to elite colleges by bribing coaches at those schools to accept certain students under false pretenses. Both women were charged with conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services fraud. Make no mistake, this is not a case where parents were acting in the best interests of their children. This is a case where they flaunted their wealth, sparing no expense to cheat the system so, so they could set their children up for success with the best education money could buy, literally. Some spent anywhere from 200000 to $6.5 million for guaranteed admission. Their actions were, without a doubt, insidious, selfish, and shameful. Neither Huffman nor Laughlin has publicly responded to the charges, though their alleged bribes appear to be on the lower end in the $500,000 range. I think particularly mothering, and if you do it well, you work yourself right out of a job because, God willing, your kids don't need you. If you do it badly and you've damaged your kids enough, they're going to need you their whole life. So it's kind of a toss-up. Huffman and husband William H. Macy, who was not charged in the case, have one college-aged daughter, 18-year-old Sophia Grace, while Laughlin has two, 19-year-old Olivia and 20-year-old Bella. Both attend USC in Los Angeles. I want them to be happy, so I want to be supportive of everything they want to do, but I do want them to have somewhat of a normal, you know, finish out of high school, college experience. Maybe because I didn't have that, I, I really want that for them. According to the authorities, the students were not parties in the alleged scheme, meaning they may not have known that their admission was the result of alleged bribes. So there they are going to these colleges, going to classes, not knowing that their parents had perpetuated an alleged crime in order to get them in there. So the question now is, as their peers look at them and realize, okay, this is a student whose parents possibly committed fraud to get them in, what happens to these students? Are they going to get kicked out even though in some cases they didn't even know their parents had done it? I think it's going to really have to go on a case-by-case -case basis at each university. Yeah.